All right, let's take that off, put the imaging back on. And yeah, here we go. We have a nice pink sun star thing. Um, and what you're saying about the image is absolutely true. So let's say we take this, uh, let's take this magic image. We can get a very similar style, but much spikier. I like that. I like that right? a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this is, this reminds me a lot of, um, I forget the name of the game. Unexplored, I think it is. Unexplored. But they're very sort of, um. Oh, oh the top down 2D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah. Um, it has that, that sort of polygonal style to it. And, and, you know, you could do this with whatever. So you could, uh, put in a muzzle flash and you've got these weird abstract shapes. Or if you want abstract shapes, let's actually make an abstract one. That's pretty awesome. So just by playing with these images, you can take the same thing and really make it a lot more intriguing. Um, I'm going to keep mine with this light one because I like that. Okay, so there is... Actually, that one doesn't work at all. <laughs> That's not moving. Uh... Actually, this light two one was kind of nice. Let's make this a bit faster. So one second again, and there we go. We have a nice little reactor core. Oh, make it blue, make it blue, make it blue. Make it blue, make it blue. Don't forget, we're adding, so we have to use quite dark colors here. Uh, let's get rid of you. All right, blue. Nice deep blue. Heading to a slightly lighter blue. And remember, it's heading towards a pink here. Oh, yes, because it's going towards the pink, but because you turn the alpha down, you can't see that it's pink. Correct. So if I turn the alpha up, you'll see it very briefly. It's going to flicker. So let's make that nice navy blue. Um... There we go. Right, let's go to my gizmo. Let's uh, get rid of the origin and the grid. Oh, that really gives you freedom. It's fun, isn't it? <laughs> All right. A lot of fun. So there's one stuff we can do here. Let's let's make a stylized fire like we do with the torches. Okay. Um, I'm gonna keep that where it is and just move to the side and make a new one. So brand new GPU particle. Mikey's in charge of telling me if we have any things that people are saying, by the way, because I can't see. Uh listen, we're not playing with submitters yet. We will do. Process materials. Full pass. Uh, 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 uh. Quadnesh, great. Okay, new material, standard material. Ready? Let's go. We're going with alpha and add unshaded using albedos with a billboard particle on keep. Yep, that's all great. Okay. Over to our particle, gravity off. Over to our material, I have to put the albedo in. We're just going to use a simple circle. Uh, it doesn't have to be a circle. I'm using a circle just because it looks good. Let's make a, here, I'm going to rename this one blue pulse so I know what it is. Uh, blue reactor. No, this is a reactor. There it is. This one is going to be flames. Okay. Our flames need to move up. So to do that, we've got gravity off. Our direction is going to be one. And initial velocity of, let's say, one. Okay, that's very exciting. Let's say initial velocity of, oh, I turned the initial velocity off again. Okay, so initial velocity with a spread of 45 doesn't really work for me. Let's say a spread of 15. Like to okay. say, yeah, that looks good. So, scale curve. When I'm working with fire, I like to do the scale curve first because I want something that looks a bit more like this. Add a new point in here, right-clicking there, because we don't want it to be the same size there. And it's just 
fading to zero at the very end, which gives it that nice little embers. Thing. Because we are adding, our colors should just work. So let's try that. Um, I need a color ramp, there we go. And we'll start with a nice deep red. Uh, we're gonna end with a uh, orange, I guess. And in the middle, we'll put a nice yellow. Yeah, if I can find a nice yellow. This palette doesn't have a nice yellow, it's very green. Let's find a nice yellow. Okay. Getting there, uh, I might put a little bit of damping. So we don't, right now this is very, very regular. I say some of these should slow down. And let's give it a little bit of turbulence. Yeah, when I say a little bit of turbulence, actually, if we could just uh, noise scale of two and noise strength of 0.25. So what this is doing is it's generating a noise texture and applying that to the direction it's going in. That's still a bit too strong. And then I say noise scale of 1.5. Great. Right. And let's say we don't really want it to be pushing down. We just want to be forward and left and right. So I'm going to set my Y to zero, so there is no noise change on the Y. Apparently that's not actually what it does. Fine. Okay. So we have the beginnings of a fire, but I think we can do better. Let's say there's not eight of them, there's 64 of them. Oh. That's starting to, yeah, I like that. And let's say we want a bit more of a, no, that's the wrong direction. It's probably Turbid a bit too much turbulence, here. isn't it? Yeah. 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 I just turned turbulence off for now. It's just throwing everything off. All right. Right now, this spread is getting in the way. So if we go to our initial direction, let's turn spread to zero. And that lets us see what we're trying to do. So our scale isn't quite right. Um, flames get thicker way close to the bottom. And then get fatter again, don't they? So it should go more like that. In fact, if anything, let's remove this one. I just drag that. Ooh, whoa. <laughs> Good old handles on a Bezier curve. There we go. Yeah. Okay, a little bit better. Um, things we can do. Radial acceleration. This is how far out is getting pushed, right? Uh, this might not be great. So if you do this, they sort of get pushed from the center. But you can push them into the center. Let's see what that looks like on our reactor. Go to our reactor, radial acceleration. So as they, they start going, they're going to get accelerated to a negative two, to a maximum of negative one. And you'll see it's it's starting to destabilize a bit more. 